we're on the subject still of LGBTQ plus rights. And uh, Candace Owens on her show slandered LGBTQ teachers saying pedophilia is around the corner. We must not give these freaks and predators so much as one inch. Now, the reason why Candace Owens is popular is uh, one, because she takes whatever conservatives are saying and she raises the yikes level to like a 11 or 12, right? She goes a step further. Whenever they say something extreme, she says something exponentially more extreme. That's how she kind of became a mainstay in conservative politics. And another reason why she's popular is because she gets to say all of the horrible things about black and brown people without the accusations that she's racist, right? So, you know, Tucker Carlson will bring her on to talk about why Black Lives Matter is bad. Uh, and she weaponizes her identity in the same way that Dave Rubin and Caitlyn Jenner do to attack their own community. And they do this for money. With Candace Owens, I don't even think that she believes half the shit that she says. Wasn't she anti-Trump before he got elected? Like she was making fun of his penis size and shit like that? She's so fake. So she's going to the trope, oh, well, gays are pedophiles. You know, conservatives will try to dance around that. They'll say, oh, well, they're groomers. They want to say it, but she'll just come out and say it. No, they're fucking pedophiles. We shouldn't allow, uh, allow them around kids. Isn't your party the same party that has Matt Gates in it? Roy Moore, do you have anything to say about uh, the Tennessee Republican who had his bill advanced out of committee, which basically legalizes child marriage? Let's watch it, though. What we just examined is a mentally unstable adult predator who has access to children. Our Talk about projection. Talk about projection. She is mentally unstable. You have to be unstable to do what she does. I wouldn't live with, be able to live with myself if I did what she did, right? children and there is only one kind of people who don't see it that way and those are other predators like disney a company which focuses its content exclusively on children they publicly announced that they are going to fight florida legislators on behalf of these child groomers in the classroom they will demand that these people like the woman that we just showed you has a right to speak to your child about her partner's trans feminist whatever that even means yeah she that's a great point only fact uh, she won a court case for school district racism against her in middle school and got a good bit of money. Right. So, you know, sh she has firsthand experience with racism. And now she denies that racism is a prevalent issue. She denies, I think, institutional racism. She said that the Southern strategy isn't a thing. I mean, it's just it's gross. Most people couldn't do this. There's just the select few that rise to the top because they're so craven, so morally depraved that they're willing to sell out their own communities uh, and subject them to prejudice and discrimination for money. It's sick. Like Dave Rubin, quite literally, is subjecting himself to homophobic abuse from his peers and he wants to live his life. He's gonna have two kids and yet he still will claim it's the left who really isn't tolerant. It's, it's fucking, it's, madness as if that wasn't bad enough a private meeting amongst disney's top executives recently leaked in which the animation director stated very clearly that disney has been quote so welcoming to my not at all secret gay agenda end quote now they pretend as if this is a gotcha i saw the video that executive who said that all she was talking about was that her goal is to include as much LGBTQ plus representation in Disney movies and television shows as she possibly can. And that's her gay agenda. She said it in a joking manner. Like, they think that this is a gotcha because she used the words, the gay agenda. What exactly is the gay agenda? What does that mean in particular to you? Do you honestly think that she's doing this because she wants to turn your kids gay? Or something like that? Do you think that she's doing this because... I don't I don't know. Like, she wants to turn all of America gay. So, there's no more straights. What, what is the gay agenda to you? Like, I want them to explain it. Because, for me, from my perspective as a gay dude, the gay agenda is to um, play lots and lots of video games. Occasionally watch, you know, a television show or anime. Yesterday, I read uh, the Attack on Titan manga. Uh, you know, that's that's the gay agenda to me. Hang out with my dogs, you know, once in a while, drink, smoke weed. That's what the gay agenda is. The gay agenda is better public transportation. Yeah, like the gay agenda is we want to live our lives. Leave us alone. 
please stop discriminating. But they think that it's some nefarious thing where it's going to, you know, turn everyone in the country gay, I guess. I'm not sure. Is the gay agenda funded by big gay? <laughs> Asks James from the Internet. Uh, it has to be, right? There's like some big gay lobby that is uh, bankrolling politicians to covertly institute the gay agenda. I just, I don't know. Like, they try to sell it as something nefarious. And she knows it's not nefarious. But the audience will think, oh, my God, the gay agenda. They admit it. They have a gay agenda. I mean, really? We're doing this shit again in 2022? Like, the gay agenda is to fucking smoke weed and eat Cheetos. Shut the fuck up, you absolute hysterical idiots. Yeah. It turns out it wasn't Ursula or Maleficent, Captain Hook, or even Scar in The Lion King. Nope. The greatest Disney villain of all time is Disney itself. Boycott them. Every park, every show, every coloring book. Because parents... I'm fine with that. Disney is a shitty company. Disney treats their employees like shit. And Disney absolutely isn't real allies to the LGBTQ plus community. They funded some of the politicians in Florida who ended up supporting the Don't Say Gay bill. Like, these corporations are not your friends. So if they want to boycott Disney, I don't give a flying fuck. Just do it already, though. Like, stop talking about it. Just fucking do it. Organize a boycott. You have a gigantic platform. Actually do it. Like, they've been screeching at the top of their lungs about Disney for, like, four fucking weeks now. Either boycott them or don't. But either way, please, for the love of God, shut the fuck up about Disney. Like, we just looked at Fox News' channel. They had, like, five videos about Disney posted just to their YouTube channel over the last two days. But, you know, if you don't count the videos that they posted to their YouTube channel and you look at the coverage, how much more are they talking about Disney? I mean, they keep doing this. Mr. Potato Head, Cat in the Hat, now Disney. Why don't you focus on something that's actually a real fucking issue and not some cartoon characters or some bullshit? God damn. Friends, allow me to make this part perfectly clear. Yeah, let them fight. Good point. What will follow this, the intentional and overt confusion and sexualization of our children in the classroom is obvious. <laughs> Pedophilia is around the corner. And don't you allow them for one second to convince you that that's some imaginary fallacy that exists in your head. The slope is real. We must not give these freaks and predators so much as one inch. So what she's essentially implying is that if you allow children to know that gay people exist by simply placing gay representation in a movie, or if you show like a kid in a Disney movie with two mommies kissing... That means you're a pedophile. That's grooming. That's what she's trying to say. But it's not grooming or pedophilic to place two opposite sex couple or place an opposite sex couple, two people, uh, opposite sex people kissing. That's that's fine. See, it's it's sexual if a kid sees two women kiss, but it's not sexual if a kid sees a man and a woman kiss. That's their thinking. So everyone else is a pedophile, but not not straight people. Uh, just the logic makes no fucking sense. There is no logic. She's just, she got her talking points from GOP headquarters. I don't know where the fuck they get their talking points from. They're like a hive mind. They all say the same thing and screech about the same thing. Uh, but she said, oh, okay, so now we're calling everyone groomers. I'm going to jump over that groomer thing. I'm going to leapfrog that and go straight to the pedophile rhetoric. Not going to imply, I'm just going to say it. Welcome to Candace. 